G'day guys, Tim Guest here, and welcome to our Perth Top 5 Hotspots for 2022 Spring Edition. Now hang around as we roll out the top five, but before we get into it, if you wanna find out why so many people choose us and how we get the results that we do, then click the link to speak to one of our friendly team right here in Subiaco and discover how we can help you live the life that you want. Now Perth has become a nation leading market, showing strong resistance to downturn pressures with high levels of sales activity and good price growth. Now in contrast to the bigger cities, Perth delivered strong results of sales volumes in the June quarter. Of 179 suburbs analyzed in Hotspotting's Spring 2022 survey, 131 are categorized as rising or consistency markets compared with the 134 in both the winter survey three months ago and the autumn survey six months ago also. Now just to note that we often look to Hotspotting as they are historically one of the best analysts to predict price movements as they track sales volumes as compared to median house prices. You see, movement in house prices are an indicator of the past whereas consistently increasing sales volume are a more reliable indicator of future price increases. Now on this basis, only a quarter of Perth suburbs are classified as plateau markets, and that's where sales volumes have tapered off below peak levels, compared with half of suburbs in 2020 before Perth began its current growth cycle. Now the Perth market has consistently been strong for the past seven quarters. The numbers of suburbs classified as rising markets in our past seven surveys have been 118, 103, 115, 116, 121, 115, and 108. To put that into perspective, in the surveys from 2015 to the end of 2020, the average number of rising suburbs in Perth was only 29. So current performance is almost four times the pre-2021 levels. Now, as we noted in the winter 2022 survey three months ago, many of the standout municipalities are at the affordable end of the market. Suburbs with rising sales activity include five of the seven suburbs in the Armidale local governmental area, seven of the nine suburbs in the Rockingham local governmental area, four of the six suburbs in Quinana, eight of the suburbs in the Gosnells city area, 16 of the 21 suburbs in Wanneroo, six of the seven suburbs in the Swan local governmental area, and six of the nine in the Canning governmental area. Now this buoyancy at the lower end of the market confirms Perth status as the most affordable housing market in the capital city of Australia. Now suburbs doing well in the city of Wanneroo include Perth's far north, including Alcamos, where quarterly sales have been rising from 54 to 142 over the past seven surveys, and Butler, which has risen from 65 to 155 in the same period. Now the city of Armidale in the far south, the suburbs of Armidale and Kelmscott are the leading locations with both tripling their sales volumes in the last seven surveys. The city of Rockingham, Baldivis and Waikiki continue to deliver high sales levels with similar performance. And in the nearby Kunana local governmental area, Wellard is thriving on quarterly sales of 66 rising to 135 over the same period. Elsewhere in the city of Joondalup, in Perth's north, distinguishes itself through its highly consistent market. Of the 18 suburbs in our analysis, 10 are rising markets and 7 are consistency markets. The suburb of Joondalup is one of the rising markets, while consistent suburbs include Duncraig and Sorrento. Now some of the inner city municipalities with high content of apartments are also attracting strong demand. There is elevated activity in the inner city suburb of Perth, dominated by units as well as neighbouring East Perth and West Perth as well. Now where there is evidence of lessening demand in Perth is primarily in the more expensive areas. These include the municipalities of Cottesloe, Mosman Park, Fremantle and Nedlands. As an example, in the city of Melbourne, only five of the 14 suburbs in our analysis are rising markets. Now the highly consistent city of Stealing has still uh, has 12 rising suburbs among the 23 in analysis, but down somewhat on the numbers in the previous survey only three months ago. Now with regards to house prices, analysis of core logic price data shows that 98% of suburbs recorded price growth in the past year, with 20 of those achieving growth above 20%. Now, affordable suburb Hilbert in the Armidale region has had the biggest increase at 36% to $410,000, followed by Gwellup up 31% to just over a million bucks, Mount Hawthorne up 31% to just over $1.2 million, and Woodlands are up 30% to $1.3 million. Now, during the latest quarter, 161 suburbs recorded median house price growth, but the majority of those were under 5%, which indicates that the price growth continues, but not at the boom levels seen across Australia in the past two years. Now, the 13 suburbs to record a drop in median house price in the latest quarter included Big Turn, which had a biggest drop of 3%, a drop of 3%. 
to just over $1.2 million. And that is still 13% higher than last year. North Fremantle's median house price also dropped 2.8% to just over 1.2 million, which still remains 15% higher than last year also. So now we're gonna get into the top five hotspots for 2022, the spring edition. King us off at number five is the Kalamunda local government area. So the exodus to affordable lifestyle trend has helped drive buy demand in the suburbs of Kalamunda, especially in the high volume locations of High Wycombe and Forestfield, which have median house prices below $500,000. Proximity to Perth and accessibility via good road links have added to the popularity of this precinct, and its appeal with buyers will go to another level when the $2 billion forest field to airport link rail line is completed in just a few weeks. Now the 8.5 kilometre rail spur will connect to existing rail lines and allow residents in the Kalamunda local government area to travel to Perth CBD in 20 minutes. Now sales activity has grown in this precinct in the past two years and this has led to solid growth in median house prices in key suburbs. Ultra low vacancy rates and solid rental yields between 4.5% and 5% provide further appeal for property investors. Now coming in at number four is the city of Gosnells. Now the Perth property market continues to rebound and recently recording the highest number of property sales since 2015 and property values at a record high. Now the availability of numerous government incentives for first home buyers is giving the Perth property market momentum, a beneficial factor for young couples and families who are a large part of the Gosnells demographic. Now Gosnells has some of the most affordable houses of any capital city. Strategically located on Perth's South East Corridor and on the Armidale train line, it is easily accessible to the Perth CBD and the Quinana and Rockingham employment nodes. Now Gosnells and the surrounding suburbs have been earmarked for future infrastructure, infrastructure development, I should say, by the federal government encouraging business, industrial and residential projects. And the revival in this precinct is supported by some of the lowest vacancy rates, and that's currently all postcodes are well below 1%, and that is in the Perth metropolitan area. Now this has also been, uh, I should say, there's also been a significant uplift in sales activity in most of the suburbs in the government to, uh, Gosnells area throughout 2021 and into the first half of 2022. Now coming in at number three, it's the city, the city of Swan, I should say. Now, this is one of the nation's fastest growing urban areas with its population projected to double to over 300 residents in the next three decades. Now, affordability and lifestyle are attracting a growing number of buyers and a dozen of the municipality's suburbs have median house prices below $585,000, which is the median house price for the greater metropolitan area. Now, buyer demand is translating into rising sales activity and strong price growth. Now, further evidence of consumer demand for this region is the acute shortage of rental homes, of which all of the eight postcodes in the city of Swan have vacancy rates between zero and 0.5%. And that's from data, uh, that's according to data from SQM research. Now, the rapid rate of population growth is promoting elevated spending on a new infrastructure to service the region, including new road and rail links. And the municipality already has major health and education facilities and a strong local economy, boosted viticulture, agriculture, and tourism. Now for number two, the city of Wanneroo. This has long been high up there because the Perth property market rebounded strongly in 2020 and delivered notable growth into 2021, with the municipality of Wanneroo at the forefront of a marked uplift in sales activity and prices. Now with an ample supply of residential land, Wanneroo is attracting young home buyers spurred on by various government grants and incentives. Alcamos, Bansia Grove and Yanchep have been consistently listed in the top 20 Perth locations for first home buyer grants in the past five years. And another positive aspect of the Wanneroo property market is its tight vacancy rates, which have been falling steadily since 2017. They are below 0.5% in all postcodes, a position not seen since the end of the previous mining boom. Now over the past decade, 177 new residents have moved to this municipality, making it the fastest growing local governmental area in Western Australia. And now guys, time for number one, the city of Rockingham. From its recovery status in 2020, Perth property market has since changed into a boom market in 2021 and early 2022. Amid the capital's activity, the suburbs of Rockingham City feature strongly. Now, every one of the local governmental area's nine suburbs classify as rising markets in both the autumn 2022 edition of Hotspotting's Price Predictor Index and the winter 2022 edition of the report. Now, numerous government incentives for first home buyers is adding further momentum to Perth property market, a factor highlighted across the affordable Rockingham City area, where sales activity is rising and prices are responding. 
Now the suburb of Baldivis has regularly ranked in the top two positions for first home buyer grants over the last decade. Now with population growth and attractive seaside lifestyle, affordable land and access to major job nodes, this local governmental area is definitely a community for young families. Now fueled by strong population growth, residential construction is expected to continue well into the 2040s to satisfy increasing demand. Now the revival in this precinct is supported by some of the lowest vacancy rates in Perth. And there's little sign of a slowdown in the growth of this region. Now, in support of this growth, both the Mitchell Freeway and the Joondalup to Butler train lines have been extended while the state government is busy building new schools uh, in the area. Now also growing industrial areas are providing employment opportunities and with suburbs in many suburbs priced in the 400,000 properties in the city of, suburb, uh, city of Wanneroo, I should say, are worthy of both home buyer and investor intention. So guys, that rounds out our top five Perth hotspots for 2022. Just to remember, if you wanna find out why so many people choose us and how we get the results we do, then click the link to speak to one of our friendly team right here in Subiaco and discover how we can help you live the life that you want. Remember guys, have a great week. And there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.